So, the one thing is throughout history, we all wanted to obtain immortality. Let's get a goal in our history. But I don't want immortality. I want eternal youth. Because when you grow older, your body starts to deteriorate and you lose many of your uh, normal functions. And a third of you today, at the age of 65, will suffer from some form of age related hearing loss. But that is a big problem. So, how does hearing loss happen exactly? So, we have this series of hairs inside our clock here in the inner ear. And over time, and over time, these hair gets damaged and uh, they stop functioning properly. So these, we only start out with uh, 30,000 of these hairs, and we don't grow anymore. So if they're gone, they're gone. So uh, some of the current solutions we have uh, for hearing loss aren't really solutions. They just try to steer us away from the problem. But um, gene therapy could be an actual solution to actually solve hearing loss. So we'll talk about gene therapy first. There are three kinds of gene therapy. Therapy. First is when you actually replace the malfunctioning gene with a healthy, healthy gene in the cell. The second is when you stop a gene from being activated inside the cell. And the third is when you actually introduce a new gene inside the cell. So uh, there, are three, there are two types to actually apply the gene therapy to a human. First is in vivo. So in vivo is when you inject the, um, the vector inside the body and the vector will be able to affect the cells. The other one is ex vivo. We actually want to uh, remove stem cells from the patient and then inject the vector into the stem cells outside the patient's body and then re inject it back into the body. So, uh, what you need first is you need to actually identify the gene. So, you need the gene that you want to replace, the gene you want to stop, or the gene you want to um, add into the cell. And then you want a promoter. So, the promoter will tell you, uh, will tell the vector, um, to tell the gene actually when to activate and where to activate. So, this promoter can target specific tissues, specific organs, uh, etc. So now I'm going to be actually focusing on security loss because uh, I can go on for gene therapy forever. So I'm going to be talking about um, a study performed by Columbia University. So in there they're using a vector, and not the physics ones, the vector in biology to carry the genes, and it's in a denovirus. So denovirus is, um, is what only one kind of vector, as I said, from a series of other vectors. They're uh, usually viral vectors. So the adenovirus will uh, enter the cell through an uh, endosome and actually inject their DNA into the healthy cell. So this works both in vivo and ex vivo. So if a cell, um, so sometimes virus uh, vectors can only work if the cell is dividing. In this case, they can work both if they're dividing and if they're not doing anything. So this is a very good solution. And um, right now they're trying to target the ATOH1 uh, gene and also known as the uh, HAF1 gene. So uh, this gene has been, um, there's a study done where they suppressed this gene in uh, mice and when they did that, they couldn't hear it. So uh, this was actually directly contributed to the development of the hair cells. And also, um, what happens with this gene is that during the embryonic stages, um, it is activated and we start growing hair. However, after we're born, it stops, it shuts down. So if we're able to inject the gene back into the cells and have the hairs regrow, then we can uh, have more hair and we start hearing it. So um, a couple of studies have been done, um, and what I learned from this is that there's no real direction that anyone is taking right now. So there's not one straight path to the solution. There's a bunch of different um, universities, a bunch of different um, people trying to solve this problem. So um, it's just all about exploring. Uh, yeah, thank you.